សូមមិនជើញអូនប្អូនយុបជនសិស្សនៈទីដាប់ពីចូលរួមប្រកួតប្រជែងសមត្ថភាពលើវិញ្ញាសារប្រឡងជ្រើសរើសិស្សពូក
กอดจะเนี่ยมือทายขึ้นจนเน็ตมันทามินหือเอาไว้กัดล้างกอดคล้ายจะเนี่ยตุ่มหนบบุ่มรองขนมขู่ซาแต่งครูนักเมงกอดเธอประกอบท่าพระโอนใส่กอดตัวตัวบานกาศักษากรุบจุงจุรยตัวตัวบ้านเนอไว้ไว้เดินเนี่ยดนตรีมิ้นดังประกอบท่าพระโอนใส่บอกกอดจุกใจนักนองชีวิตก้อนในตายเนี่ยเธอจะบองเพราะหล่อนั่งจะได้คู่ด้านหล่อขึ้นจะเบิดขยงมาสายเบียดได้หล่อขมิ้นกู้เปรียบไม่ก็มันเลียนทำทนอบมาเอ็กซ์ตร้าทำไมคลั่งติดกาปีเปียนประเสริฐเพียบอวงไงจังเลือกคลั่งกับบ้านเลือกมองกับบ้านคำเพนพนมปอจีย่อมประกาศต้นบันเทิงย่อมจังเรียบจังคราวไอ้โลจิงดิย่อมจังเทมสระมือติดตาเนี่ยกงปงตระกาดันต้นปงรีไอชิบกามเอ็นเต้ไอเลนี่ทุนี้กีอภิวัตชนบทหนังกาสิกรรมรอจุนอันเตียนกอมโตรสัพกรรมสหกรีทนโตยหนึ่งมัดชุ่มจีมวยหนึ่งอัตราคาปะกรัมจะปรำเพียรอยปนอกนงมวยชนะกำเจ้ปรำปนดอลลาร์คาปะกรัมแต่มาไปมวยดอลลาร์ปนอกนงมวยไข่ทุนี้กีอภิวัตชนบทหนังกาสิกรรมดำใบกาสิกรหนึ่งอภิวัตเศรษฐกิจสังคมนอมกจุนดอยวิจิสถานซีอีโอบงพักในสัตว์อ่อยคล้ายเจียบกลึกปูกายเนื้อดักน้อมปูกายเนื้อรกซีปูกายหนึ่งคล้ายคล้วนจีนมีนไงยนากรซีอีโอมาสเตอร์คลับบงพักมาจ่ายชีวกรรมอ่อยคล้ายจีนเนื้อดักน้อมธุรกิจกัมปูลทอนี่กีไอเกตเอออนแคมโบเดียพีเอลซีสามัญโรฮาเงี้ยสูรทนี่กีอภิวัตชนบทหนึ่งกสิกรรมดำใบกสิกรหนึ่งอภิวัตสตกสังคมงวนสิทาเมียนบมราจุนเสวาดอดะหนึ่งปโดปะรอห้าตอนเจ็ดปโดจุนเนื้อกุมใจศึกษาดอนิสัตพร้อมแต่งปโดลอกาการเงียจีจันกันไหลพ่อเรียนบันไทม์สมเตะตองตามเลขโทรศัพท์โซนเจ็ดสับปรำปีปรำใบรอยมาไพปีโซนแปดสับปรำใบโซนเจ็ดสับปรำใบรอยมาไพปีโซนแปดสับปรำใบกรมหนทนายปอจิตแคมเปญจีจุมฤกษ์ดำใบสาวพ่อนภิบบิดาสมุนไพรดิสันเชนจ์แมนที่มาที่นี่ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ในวันนี้ใน And we have the three different competition. The first one is Khmer speaking competition. The second one is English speaking competition, and the last one is outstanding student competition. And for outstanding students competition, we have the three different subjects. That means all the contestant, a one of contestant, they need to exam for all the subjects. So like guys, Khmer, math, and physics. Okay, the n e m a n t o v i n program can run because our sponsor. For I would like to thank to our sponsor for supporting us from the beginning to until now. So thanks to Aon Special Life Bank of Cambodia, simple, quick, and easy. Another special thanks to Agriculture and Rural Development Bank of Cambodia, and another one thanks to Mon Sitha. And Mon Sitha has deposit service, cash withdrawal, and exchange currency. And another one or the last thanks to Campaign for supporting us from the beginning until now. Okay, let's get down to business. So for today we have a topic that is the news topic related to the business. The topic is. Soft skill and hard skill, which more important in business? Wow, it is a topic that's talk about business because our scholarship is for the business, IBM International Business Management. So I would like to choose this topic for our competition for today. So are you ready? Yes. Okay. So before they deliver their speech, I would like both of them to introduce themselves first. So can you go first? Okay. First of all, I would like to. 
Yeah. So highly respect to brother Don Savanara and highly respect to my opponent Lina and uh, highly respect to all Indians. My name is Lun Babu. I am a 12th grader of Ampas mm-hmm. High School in the Kaya Province. And today I have a great honor to be here and share all of you about an interesting topic which is about hard skills and soft skills which yeah. are most important in business. I hope you guys quite like our discussion. Thank you. Okay, thank you Rabu. Okay, now it's your turn. To begin with, I would like to pay my respect to yeah. the judges and my opponent. And good afternoon to everyone this, that is watching this live right now. My name is Amina. I'm a 12th grader of Belty International School, Campus 12, Sadehoi. Today is such a great honor for me to be a part of the Avantalban once again and to present you such a marvelous topic, which is about soft skill and hard skill, which more important in business. And I hope you guys like it. Okay, thank you to both of you for you have already nice introducing yourself. So the topic today, soft skill and hard skill which more important in business so our beloved audience don't forget to like to share and also to vote for uh, both of them you saying uh, one of them they have enough ability to pass this round and move to another round please vote for them by the links uh, in the caption okay so now it is time for us to deliver your speech so who want to go first okay you want to go first? okay so you have three minutes to deliver your speech okay, but, okay let's start okay thank you for that basically in business we need important skills to perform our work to be better and mm-hmm. success and those skills are hard skill and soft skill. Sure. Um, they are enormous important in business. Um, without those skills, we are likely to fail. Mm. So um, to apply the job, you will list your hard skill on your curriculum details or your mm. CV. But today's but today's employers just they seek more than this. Mm. Increasing importance is being placed on soft skill. And I have three reasons to tell you why the, the soft skill is more important than hard mm. skill. So the first of all, hard skills are useless without soft skill. As you can see, in uh, most job, technical skills alone are not enough to be uh, truly effective. A uh, business manager needs to be able to listen to the employees and uh, have great speaking skills and be able to think creatively. And all careers require uh, at least some of, uh, some of soft skills to, uh, to make the hard skill valuable. Yes. And the secondly, soft skills are harder, harder to learn. Um, of course, hard skill can be easily taught and can be easily learned, perfected right. over time. Soft skills are more challenging to develop because they closely link with the person and per- person's character. Mm-hmm. Uh, it takes time, consists, um, consists effort, ongoing practice, and a commitment to self development to improve soft skill. And the, sl- the last point, the modern uh, the modern workplace is interpersonal. In fact, such uh, skills such as communication, collaboration, and yeah. present, presenting idea and so on are all highly valued in the modern workplace. So the strong soft, the strong soft skill ensure a productive work, a, a, a collaborative work, and a healthy work environment. Moreover, soft skills ensure all important attribute for organizations or industry in an increasingly competitive world. Mm-hmm. Um, accordingly, according to uh, the speech of the Dr. Quit Mainly, who is the employer of the Mainly uh, J. Quit uh, Education com- Company, he, he said that the, the, uh, the employer or the employees who are good at soft skills mm-hmm. so, um, will be more successful than hard skills. Um, on his experience, he said that before he selected the candidate, uh, he he are always um, he are always see, seeking the behavior and the attitude of them than more than more than certificate. Yeah. And he, he continued that if employee have strong soft skill, they will be a great leader in the industry great in the future. Yeah. yeah. And also, Professor Priyam Subun has said that the, in university he teach student to, to have a specific career mm-hmm. but the student themselves should be found the soft skill to be the resource of the society or the industry and finally hard skill and soft skill are very important but soft skills are more important than this than the hard skill in the business and as i i mentioned below the, the, the three reasons the first yeah. is um the hard skill is uh, are useless without a soft skill. And the second soft skill are harder to learn. And the, the, the last one, the modern the modern workplace is interpersonal. And uh, 
you can develop the soft skill which mm-hmm. can help bring out the best in all of the hard skill that you've learned over the year and hard skill may impress on the on your CV mm-hmm. that uh, that but, but the soft skill uh, what will set you apart from the the many candidates who have similar appetite to you and thank you okay thank you Rabu for you have a very nice uh, speech and now if your turn you have also three minutes to deliver your speech okay yes that's okay. That. Before we advance our topic, I would like to define the definition of soft skill and hard skill. Yeah. Soft skill are the combination of people skills, social skills, attitudes, social intelligence, and emotional intelligence that enable people to navigate their environment, work well with others, perform well with others, and to achieve their goal in business. On the other hand, hard skill, also known as technical skill, are any skill related to a specific task or situation. It involves both proficiency and understanding in such specific activity that involve method, process, procedures, and technique. Mm. As you can see, in business, both soft skill and hard skill are significantly important due to the reason that they are needed in every employee in order to successfully achieve a great result in their career or future business. However, I think that soft skill is the most important one due to three reasons. First, okay. improve leadership and employee improve communication. Leadership. In a leader point of view, working with people that have a great sense of work and communication in a team usually result in a better quality and a fast paced result. So having employee with a great soft skill is better than having employee mm-hmm. with a better hard skill but low in soft skill. Second, it's a great improvement for teamwork and productivity. For a business to function effectively, people must work well together in order to achieve a common goal. Moreover, with the ability, with the employee efficiency in their task and responsibility will eventually help to bring the company closer to achieving their goal. Like they said, dream work, teamwork made the dream work. Mm. Last but not least, attract new clients. As you may know, consumer these days have a huge number of options of where to buy from. For the consumer, Convenient and low price are easy to come by, so customer service is often influencing the choice to use a particular business. With uh, therefore, with the ability to the ability to communicate with human level with the customer is a vital factor in an organization success. For instance, if the client really like your customer service, they are more likely to recommend you to other clients. Sure. This will open up your company to a new business opportunity. In conclusion, having soft skill is the most important in business due to three reasons. First is improve leadership and employee communication, improve teamwork and productivity, and attract new clients. Hmm. Therefore, as a future entrepreneur and the human resource of the future development, we need to have a great soft skill along with hard skill in order to make our business become successful in the future. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, so both of you had mentioned that soft skill is more important than hard skill for business. Yes. Okay, now I have some questions to ask uh, both of you. Uh, the first question led to uh, Rabu. Yes. My first question is that I would like you to rest up some of the soft skill and hard skill. Okay. Uh, some of them. Okay, thank you, brother. Yeah. For the soft skill, there are many, many skills in the soft skill. Yeah. It has many like a critical thinking and problem solving, collaboration and communication, um, creativity and innovation and leadership and um, uh, responsibilities, mm. is, uh, time management is so on. It's very, very have a many, many skills in the soft skill. Um, and the other hand, hard skill, it has many have many skills also. It has a IT skill, yeah, and a marketing skill and a network. Uh, Medical security and also the um, the lawyer, the economic, yeah, the uh, the politic and the um, IT skill and also as I okay I mentioned and um, also um, the the English literature and also the the, the skill that we uh, repair the the machine like a, uh, repair the the uh, computer and yes and that's the hard skill and. Okay, yes, thank you. Okay, the, the next question uh, to Lina. You have said that uh, soft skill is the human skill, right? Yes. So my question is, do you think uh, people are born with soft skill? It means that if people are nice because they were born with a nice situation like that, 
So do you think they bond with the soft skill or not? Why? Thank you for your question. Actually, people people don't born with soft skill. Yes. Basically, it's a, it's really difficult for people to master it. Example for communication, for communication, mm -hmm. adaptability, creativity, teamwork, and stuff. They needed they needed to adapt themselves and try to learn it from their own environment. They need to make sure how to interact with people, not just one people, maybe with everyone around them, the community, or maybe the whole society. So they needed their best to master that skill. Moreover than that, people don't just born with a great communication and interaction and also knew how to persuade people in doing something. Therefore, they needed to learn to know the need of every people if they are in business. They need to know what each and one of them wanted in, in order to purchase that product or what they needed to have in their daily life. Mm -hmm. This is why they say, oh, this is why people don't born with soft skills. Sure. Okay. Because not born with soft skill, it means that we can make it yeah. or can improve it. Okay. Well, next question related to both of you. Um, you said teamwork. Teamwork. Do you think teamwork we need soft skill or not, and why? And what will happen if the, the members of the team they are not good at soft skill? What are the problem of the, your team? You understand? Yes. It means that you you, ha you are a member of a team. You yes. have a lot of people in your team, and both of them they are not good at soft skill. So what will happen to your team? Okay. okay so yes. you can you go first? Okay. Thank you, brother, for the question. When in the team, a person, uh, some of the member in the yes, team, sure. they are not good at the soft skill, so they can't communicate with the the other the other member in the team. Mm. So the task that they that that they gonna finish, that they gonna do, will uh, like a decrease decrease the the the, the quality because. Mm. They they can they can uh, work work team they can uh, be be uh, do 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 the task together they just uh, only do by themselves and just go by themselves without without don't care about the team so that the task in the team will be decreased the quality and uh, so uh, when 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 the the task of the team will be decreased they, they will be forced in, in our in our society because. In our society, it has many teamwork to do sure. to do in the society. So when they they they, they, they decrease the, the quality of the teamwork, so the society will be worse. Thank you for that. Okay, so what about you? What are your perspective? According to your question, if in a team one one or two member that yeah. doesn't have soft skill, what will happen to the teamwork? Sure. As you may know that teamwork require people to gather around and yeah. to have the same taste in doing and to have the same the sense of work in doing together. Yes. But if one or two members are having a lack of soft skill, they won't be able to bond in with the other team. Mm. So therefore, there will be a lot of consequences happen to them. Um, they, the team might break might break yeah, apart yeah, sure. and there won't be any great result coming out. In order to fix this, as in a team there must be a leader, a leader who knew mm -hmm. how to lead their team to success, who knew how to solve problems, who knew how to plan ahead. Therefore, as a leader, they, they, he or she need to make sure that that member have a sense of work and have a sense in communication and knew how to work together in a team. That's all. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you said that uh, if you really are the leader, we need to uh, to make sure that uh, our team can go very well. So yes. for my next question, if we are not the leader of the team, we just one of the members in the team, and mm -hmm. one another's member, they are not good at soft skill, but they good at high skill. It's mean that skill. oh yeah, they good at a uh, uh, hard skill, right? It's mean that if our team, uh, we can say that if our team uh, support for a service like IT. They good. They really good at IT skill, but they are not. He or she is not good at soft skill. So as we are, we are the member. We are not the leader of the group. Yeah. So how to show this problem? Or what should we do to help uh, our team can work very well? Okay. So this question, can you go first? Sure. Um, according to your question, if I'm one of the member mm -hmm. and another member in my team is having a lack of soft skill, yes, soft skill. but the, uh, he or she is good at hard skill. Sure. Example like know how to do IT stuff. Mm -hmm. 
as a member myself, I need to make sure that my t my member or maybe the person in my team mm -hmm. knew how to talk to other people and not just being alone and try to be independent because when they say it's team there's no i in team so basically you have to work together and as a member myself i need to make i need to interact with that person and tell and telling them that teamwork doesn't have doesn't mean you have to be independent mm -hmm. it have you have to be in you have to be depend dependent you have to work together you have to communicate you have to stay together and work together in order to achieve a better goal. Okay, thank you. So what about your perspective on the question? Okay, thank you brother for the question. For the question, if the one one of the team, one member of the okay. team, they are lack of a soft skill, but they are um, being good yes, at good skill. at hard skill. Okay. So it means that they, they can uh, communicate to the other mm -hmm. team. So we as a member, as I in the member in that team, I will fix it. I want to tell him that teamwork it it's it's is a require the soft skills strongly. Mm -hmm. So the, the they should have to study. They should have to fix himself to be a uh, to to do in the teamwork. So that when they they, they can study uh, about the soft skill and they can do the teamwork, so that the work can be um, can be increased. And so. As, as I said, the interacting with the uh, interact well with the other mm -hmm. people. Yes, I agree because if another team don't communicate, don't um, have a uh, like a collaboration, so the team will not be lost. So um, the soft skill still important for uh, the for the member in a team to do together and get team. Myself. Okay, thank you both of you for answer my question, and I still have a lot of question to ask both of you. But I, I, I another voice I want our audience can engage with you. It means that uh, they can comment, they can ask the question. So please comment below with the question uh, with the topic soft skill and hard skill, which more important in business. So to give you the enough time to uh, to comment or to ask the question, we would like to have a short break. Thank you. Normal chun doi, which is tan CEO, bong bok ni set oi klai tia, bok a luk pukai, net duk nom pukai, net a rock sea pukai, nung klai kluon chin up mint ngay an akut. CEO Master Club, bong bok machai chivakam, oi klai chin net duk nom tura kai kum pool. Tonia ki akate e on Cambodia PLC, Samang, Roha, Nye Srul. Taniki, Appy Watchin about Nung Kasikam, Dump Bay Katsiko, Nung Appy Watch set a Katsin Kum. Nguồn xịt thả, miễn bầm rào chun xe vá, đó đã nâng bắt đầu bắt đầu rồi hát toàn chật, bắt đầu chun nơi cầm chạy sạc xá, đó là sát, bóng tiền bắt đầu lọc cả càng nghĩa chỉ tràn con lành. Bỏ ra miễn bằng thaym, xông tiết tông tạm lấy tựa sạp, xôn chất sắp rằm bí, rằm bầy rồi mập hay bí, xôn bài sắp rằm bầy, xôn chất sắp rằm bầy rồi mập hay bí, xôn bài sắp rằm bầy. Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi và hẹn gặp lại các bạn trong những video tiếp theo. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see other contestants of English speaking contest that they show their impression on our program. Okay, hello. hello. Yes, uh, can you introduce yourself? Um, my my name is my name is Ken Sok Pravit and yeah. I am a 12th grader from Prestige Sabat High School and um, and I am from a 12th A2. Okay, so why did you decide to join in our program? Well, I decided to join the Onet Bantawin program because I want to uh, overcome my obstacle, a lot of uh, which is stage uh, stage fright is one of my obstacles. So um, I want and, and I also want to show the ability that um, that uh, mo uh, most of my friends and I who who have the same ability uh, to show people that we have the ability to do to do something we love. So and, and also I want to meet new people and and, over and overcome my fear. You are one of the contestants who performed the round one, so you will surely go to the next round two. So, what what are your commitments? Yes. Um. Well, after after dealing with a formidable formidable uh, opponent, uh, I I have learned that there are a lot of people who has the uh, who have potential mm -hmm. in in a lot of ways and. And from and after passing to the second round, uh, second round, I I am going to try harder, and I'm going to research, and I'm going to all uh, try all my best in order to uh, in order to pass to to the next round. Can you briefly tell me about what did you learn from our program? 
Um, the Net Mentorin program is is a very good program to be honest because um, we uh, first of all first of all I I, I learned that uh, the program is all about is all about in, encouraging youth in order uh, youth to share uh, to share their ability to show their ability and to and and also uh, to teach uh, to teach youth uh, youth that uh, youth are a very uh, pow uh, powerful source of uh, a powerful source of developing the country. Okay. Uh, do you have any suggestion to the new generation that they are in grade twelve? Yes. They why uh, sh should they join with with Nevan Dorming program? Um, I I don't have much to say about this one, but um, I would I would like to encourage a lot of people, mm -hmm. uh, especially twelfth grader, if you have the ability, if you think that you have the ability, and then don't be afraid to show your ability your ability because uh, no uh, nobody can uh, can spot your ability in the dark only if you only if you share it in the light and then a lot of people can see it and a lot of people will know uh, nationally and internationally uh, how good we are that's it okay thank you for sharing and joining with our with us on the Abdomen program okay ladies and gentlemen we have three types of contest the first is Khmer speaking contest, and the second is English speaking contest, and the last one for the outstanding student. And we provide all the opportunity for all the grad 12 students that they have their potential to show. Okay, thank you. On card mobile, Samany Roha Ngisrul. Nhom trai ca tuon ban thai. Nhom chong rip chong krau ai lo jing ni. Chup chong thai sa mu tiet. Pho mai ai phong rie chi ba cam nhom ban. Ta nhe cong pong trai ca dam tuon pong rie chi ba cam men te. Ai lo ni thu ni ki api bot chon bot nang ca si cam. Ro chun an tien con tro sap cam sa ha kri thon toi nang mat som. Chi mu nang atra ca pra tram ta pram phi roi pon do khong mu chnam. กำใจตรัมปอนดอลลาร์กาปรัตตันตันมาเพย์มูดอลลาร์ปนนอกนุ่งมวยไข่ทุนิกีอภิวัตจนบทหนึ่งกะสิกรรมลำใบกะสิกรหนึ่งอภิวัตจะติดกิจซ่องกุมโอเค welcome back for the second section of the English speaking competition for today in this section I will ask up some question from our comment but now we don't see your comment okay I see your comment from uh, Facebook s a y n i t a thank you for your first comment okay her question is how to improve soft skills okay oh, it means that soft skill and hard skill is still be important yeah. in our daily life and also in business so how to improve our soft skill okay, okay. Yeah. so can you go first Okay, thank yeah. you, brother, for the question, and thank you, uh, sister Nita, for the yeah. question. Um, we can improve our soft skill by three reasons, three, three points. Point. Yes, three I, I give three tips. Yeah. First, taking personal development courses or online courses. Mm, yeah. I mean, we join, we join any any online courses and any um, development courses to improve our soft skill, to make our business, to make our industry to be stronger and to be productive. And uh, the second tip is a uh, networking with the people inside and outside the organization or the industry. I mean, um, when we in when we network with the people that they are inside and outside our uh, industry or organization, we will get more um, experience. So we can mm. do the same thing, do the same thing. So we can be uh, improve our soft skill. And the last the last tip is challenging yourself, challenging yourself. to take yeah. a new task. 
I mean, when we when we when we put ourselves to do a new task every every time on every week, so we can we can we can um, meet as the same the same task, so we can do um, better. So we can uh, like uh, we can improve our soft skill at so and we can do the work is better. Then we can uh, like um, uh, like a uh, the same the same task, so. Uh, it's easily to do when when we uh, meet meet again again and again so we easily to do it uh, and 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 uh, when when the task meet so we oh the task is uh, we we do again uh, we do already so mm-hmm. yeah we can do it better and we, yeah. we, we can develop our okay, soft skills yeah. yeah, thank you for yeah thank you so how about you um thank you for your question actually in order to improve soft skill yeah, you have to know skill. what is soft skill yeah and if you do a research about soft skill, they will bring the first thing is communication. Mm-hmm. communication. So in order to improve communication, you must know how to talk to people. However, unfortunately, as you may know that during this pandemic, people aren't able to interact much from face to face. So mm-hmm. they have to do online interaction or online sure. communication. If you, In order to improve this, you must know how to talk to people through online. You must know how to interact with them. You must know how to uh, incorporate with other people online. Moreover than that, soft skill also have a creativity, teamwork, leadership, and stuff. And in order to improve that, you must get into a team. You must work in a team. You must work together in order to improve teamwork. Sure. And if you choose to work in a business, you need to have creativity. Creativity is also one in the soft skill. In order to have creativity, you must do a lot of research and you must know the need. You must know the need of everyone in the society and or maybe in your whole country. Yeah. Therefore, once you get to know, you get to have enough uh, information about those person, about that people, you will be able to get more, you will have creative mindset and you will be able to produce more product or mm. to help that person to use a great thing in their daily life. That's all. Uh, okay, thank you for your answer. Okay, the next question from uh, Facebook, Pan Ratana Visal. He said that, he, he asked that during the startup business, some of people said that hard skill is more important than soft skill. It's been that when we, we the first time during we start our business, they said that hard skill is more important. For example, we want to, uh, I mean, if we want to run a business as a service for like uh, teaching service, we would like to run a school like that. Like that. So we need to go at uh, hard skill first. Because we don't have enough money to hire the staff, we don't have a lot of money to hire the, the employees like that. So everything, a lot of things we need to do by our own, right? During the first time that we run our business or we start up our business. So how do you think about this perspective? Does this right or not? Why? Uh, right. During the start up our business, hard skill is more important than soft skill. Do you agree or not? And why? During the... Yeah, when, when you start up your business, it means that everything you, you need to do by your own. Yes. You don't have enough money to hire people. You don't have the, a lot of money to uh, mean that to hire people to do it for you. Yes. So it means that you need to do by yourself. You need to use hard skills. So some people said like that. So how about you? Do you think if right or not? Okay. And why? Okay. So can you answer this? Okay, great. Thank you for the, for the question. Um, <clears throat> For the question you want to say about uh, when we have when we want to start up a, a new business and we have only the, the, the hard skill. I mean everything in the business we have to do by ourselves. Yeah. Um, yes. It, it demands the hard skill to make at the business, but it's only it, it's also demand the soft skill to communicate to another business yeah. also. When we when we just uh, start up a new business, so uh, our hard skill uh, will um, uh, we will use our hard skill to 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 uh, main to gain up uh, to gain in that business. Yeah. But um, when uh, the soft skill, the 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 the, manage, the manager of that business are lack at the soft skill, they will cannot be uh, communicate with the another company so that they just um that 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 business will um 
just only one business that that can go to a uh, can um, communicate and the community like a uh, uh, trade do do trade together yeah, yeah and like um, sell thing together so it will be yeah they will be down they will be broke because the soft skill the kind of communication they can't uh, build as a team in in that uh yeah. in that business so that's the reason thank you so that. it means that you said that uh, soft skills will be more important yes than be more important okay so how about you do you think hard skill or soft skill is more important when we start our business okay thank you for your question you. um according to your question during the startup of your business hard skill is the most important thing i can totally disagree to this statement hmm? because as you may know although you have a, a very experienced uh, you used to experience the job. You used to know how to do this, but without it, without interaction with the customer or the client, sure. you won't be able to have anyone to accept what you're doing. It means that they won't be purchasing your product if you don't know how. You, you don't know how to interact. Sure. Yeah. Moreover than that, you need to know what the cost each and cost each and every one need as you may know that everyone they, they need they need different things sure. they don't just need the same thing so you need to know you need to know how to upgrade your product mm -hmm. you need to know that is it useful for young adult or maybe useful for adult or maybe old age or kid just like that and now uh, once you know how to interact once you know what they need Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you knew how to start your company up high. It means that if you could try to in, try to talk to other clients in order to invest into your company, try to tell them that your company needed more investment in order to achieve a, achieve a great result in their business. So talking or persuading the other client in order to invest into your company is a great thing. Yeah. Therefore, having hard skill isn't the most isn't the most essential thing in business when it's come to start up. Okay, okay. My my own question I would like to ask both of you that can we run a business without any hard skill? It's meant to be have only soft skill. We don't have hard skill. So can we run our business okay. if we don't have any hard skill? Can we? Yeah, so can you go okay, first? and can go first. Uh, when we have only hard skill, we don't have any. No, skill. no, no. It means that we don't have any hard skill. Yeah, we don't have so, any hard skill. So, uh, do you think we can start our business or not? Yeah. Okay. I I, I do understand. Yeah. Uh, when we want to start up a community uh, a business, when we have only hard skill, so uh, it's a it, we we can um we can like like a we can like a we can like a go. We can like a run that business mm -hmm. because uh, we have only. Oh, sorry. We have only soft skill. Yeah, yeah. Hard we don't skill. have okay. any hard skill. When we have only soft skill, we have any any. Uh, we don't have any hard skill. So the the soft skill, you you know the soft skill is a the skill that we that we are difficult to learn and difficult mm -hmm. to uh, improve our soft skill. But at the hard skill is a uh, easy to uh, to learn and easily to 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 teach so uh if they had the, the the soft skill is higher than than the than the the hard skill so it can improve that hard skill when the hard skill is a is strong stronger i mean uh, they can be a uh, start up their business so okay. when they so when the hard skill is a uh, improved so they can start a business easily and then that their business will be um in Christ, yeah, they'll be good. Thank, thank you. Okay, that. so what about you, Lina? Can we start a business without uh, any hard skill? Uh, uh, thank you for your question. Actually, we cannot start our own business when mm. we don't have hard skill. Um, mm. I would like to answer this according to my own experience myself. Sure. I am right now as an intern in a mm. company and I only have soft skill, but I'm really low in hard skill. So in order to gain more hard skill, I needed to work and to uh, to gain more experience in order to know how could I start up my own business company hmm. so so I cannot just start my own business out of nowhere when I only have a soft skill yeah. furthermore 
other people, I, I assume that other people will only have soft skills as well if they are at a young age or just finish their high school exam. Mm. They cannot just start a business. When we talk about business, it's not just selling stuff online or selling stuff yeah. on the street. Yeah. But it's come to business, it's related to economic system, related mm. to the society and and also related to the whole community and the whole country as well. So if, if that person or that whole group only have soft skills, they won't be able to start a great company in order to yeah. To have a great economic system. Mm -hmm. Therefore, in order to do that, all of them needed to work for a company or maybe work for a small industrial business company that could help them to gain more experience and to know that to know that the economic system what to know what the economic system and the society need in order for everyone to start a business. Thank you. Okay, thank you for answering my question. My last question before both of you ask the question each other. My last question is, if both of you are the entrepreneurs, you are the both, you recruit the staff, and then you have the two, uh, two people that want to work for you or want to work at their position. One good at soft skill, and other one's good at hard skill. The both of them, they need the, the same position. One is good at hard skill and another one good at soft skill. So which one do you hire them to work at your staff or work at your employees and why? Um, you, uh, you mean uh, when they're good at hard skill, they, they are like at soft skill? Yeah, yeah, they, they mean that, yeah. Mm -hmm. One is good at hard skill, but it's not really good at soft skill. It's one good at soft skill, but not really good at hard skill. So who you will go to, uh, to choose them to work with you? Okay. Okay, and why? What are the reasons? So can you go first? Sure. Um, thank you for your question. Yeah. If I'm the boss or the manager of this company and I needed to hire an employee, but two of them, one is lack in soft skill, one is lack in hard skill. Mm. If I would choose, I would go with the person who is having a great soft skill. Mm. For some reason, I think that uh, employee that have a great soft skill will eventually know how to work very well. Plus, honesty yeah. is one in is one of the soft skill. If you just plus that employee will be able to learn hard skill once they get into that get into my company, they will they will try their best to do computer thing or managing mm -hmm. IT. Basically. P that employee can learn hard skill from book, but speaking of hard, but speaking of soft skill, they needed they needed more time to master. Yeah. So I guess I would choose the per the employee that have a great soft skill in order to make in order to be my employee in my company. Okay, thank you. That means that you choose the, the people or the staff that good at soft skill, right? So what about you? Okay, thank you, Father, for the question. Yeah. I do agree with with her that she hire the, the, the employee with a good at soft skill. Yeah. Because when uh, we work in a uh, I mean uh, every career need to communicate with the customer with the customer. Mm -hmm. So the as I am a uh, boss or I am the manager of the of the business. I which I also uh, I also choose the employee that they are good at soft skill because they they need to uh, communicate directly with the customer. Mm -hmm. They need to um they, uh, they need to have a good teamwork. They need to have a good uh connection with a, a boss. Mm -hmm. So when uh, they have only soft skill, so that they can communicate. But in another way, they on the uh, even though they don't have the hard skill, but the hard skill is can improve. Mm -hmm. It can improve. So uh, as I said, they can improve. Uh, they can improve like a computer. They can um, like improve their skill to yeah. um, to be to be better. So um, if I am the boss of a company or of a business, I will choose some employee who are good at soft skill because the okay. soft the, the hard skill is a. We can we can improve it better. We can improve it uh, later. So, so.
so therefore the the the, the business will be good. Okay, so for a few, we'll choose the staff who who good at soft skill. Yeah. You said that uh, because of the uh, the soft skill is not easy to learn, yes. but uh, the the hard skill is easy to learn. Yes. Okay, now it's time for both of you for ask each other for a question. So who want to ask first? You want to go first? Okay, sure. I, sure. I ask you, like, you, you, can, you can ask his first. Oh, fine, okay. Um, okay, here's my question. Imagine the following scenario. Mm -hmm. You and competitor is presenting the same exact product to the client. Mm -hmm. You have... You have... <coughs> wait, sorry. Um, uh, can, can ask can question uh, again? Okay. Imagine the following scenario. You and competitor is presenting the same exact product to the client. Mm -hmm. You, as a presenter who knew how to entice people and talk them into buying your product, or, and your competitor is only good at making the product, who do you think will win over the client? Why and why not? Okay. Uh, okay. Can... Um it means that uh, if uh, you the presenter of your products or your presenter service, the yeah, product. and your competitor also present their product, yeah. the same thing, the same thing, the same, yeah, the same, product. The same product, but the competitor is go only good at, at what you see, yeah, what you see. So and and you or us good at subscribe or present our product, yeah. right? Good so, at enticing the people yeah, in yeah. buying the product. Okay. Yeah. So you Who see, will um, win over the yeah. client? Okay. okay. Over Thank the you, client. my uncle Lina, for the question. It's a very touching question. Yeah. Okay. For these two, um, these two, uh, like these two, these, these two company who are uh, facing each other, they are um, uh, showing their their product. Okay, I will pre predict to uh, the 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 solving like a uh, the solving skill. Who mm -hmm. are the uh, I mean the 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 company that they are uh, um, I mean. Um, Advertising their product by their, their soft skill by uh, to to make the people buy their skill so uh, uh, by their um, production so that they can uh, they can uh, they can uh, have an ability to to talk to the um, to the customer to buy so yeah. their soft skill if their soft skill is uh, strongly managed uh, it means uh, uh, their their um, their soft skill is strongly so that they can communicate to the customer to buy the the um, the, the products. But the hard the hard for the, for the company they only had a hard skill. They produce the, the the their product. So when they want someone to buy the product, but they can uh, speak, they can communication, they can um uh I mean um uh, like a. Uh, make this customer buy their buy their product. It cannot because they can't communicate. They don't know how to co not communicate. So that the reason. Thank you very much. Okay, that. thank you for your answer. And yeah. so what about you? Do you, uh, uh, do you agree with what he said? And you would like to add more? Yeah. Actually, his answer is pretty good. But mm -hmm. I would like to say that, as you may know, the client will always favor whoever can persuade them to buy their yeah, product. Yeah, sure. And that take the persuader to be great at communicating and talking with the soft skill. Mm, yes. You are right on that. Thank okay, thank you. Thank you. Now it's your turn. Yes. You can ask a question okay. to her. For and my turn for the question. I to be a successful person in business, mm -hmm. what are you needed to possess? I mean um, to be a successful person in business, what are you needed to possess? Process. Yeah, process I mean uh, to have like a okay. what do you need to have? Okay. Okay, thank you for your question. Um, yeah. In order to be a successful business person or business woman as myself, mm, yes. I needed to have both soft skill and hard mm, skill, but I needed to make sure that I have a great soft skill in order to interact with my client. As you may uh, have mentioned before, the communication is really needed yes. in, yeah. every, in every business woman or business person. So I needed to make sure that I knew how to interact with my client, I knew to I knew how to persuade them in buying my product. Moreover than that, I needed hard skill. If I don't, if I don't know how to use my computer, I, or I don't know how to manage mm -hmm. anything in my computer or maybe my system, I cannot work. I cannot be a successful business woman at all. So therefore, both soft skill and hard skill are significantly important in my business. Okay. okay. So, what are you saying about her answer? And okay. would like to add more? 
Her answer is pretty good, yeah. but I want to add some uh, point yeah. um, to be the successful person in a business. Business, we yeah, like I said, uh, we have the hard skill and soft skill. Yeah. Hard skill is a technical skill to have a great job, mm -hmm. and the soft skill is a personal habit and the traits that are uh, that 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 would be great fit everywhere. The, mm -hmm. the soft skill, but more than this, morality is also the. Uh, the big point, the big problem that all the manager in the business are to um, think about this point. Okay. The, the morality, if we use it to improve ourselves in our daily living yeah. and in our business. And one more, the virtue. The virtue yeah. is a, a it means a truth, passion, and a gratitude. Yeah. So when we have this uh, virtue, we can go truly. We can we we can only uh, when we have soft skill and we have the virtue, uh, including these three points. So we can go through smoothly to be, yeah. to to run their business to make the business big uh, to better. Even though they have a lot of skill, but they cannot. Uh, uh, but they lack this three thing so the business will be down will be broke well uh, if we solve the problem or leave a task without virtue it means we will get bad result for okay. ourselves thank you brother okay thank you okay now it's the time for both of you to include our speech today okay. so can you go first to include all our speech today can you go first? okay can you go first okay i can prepare my including okay he has mentioned so, a lot. We are asked question. We already have a very nice speech. Yes. And now it is time for us that we need to include our speech today. Okay. To talk about the topic: soft skill and hard skill, which is more important in business. Okay. So, okay, can you go first? Thank you, brother. Um, for my in, in my conclusion, uh, as I mentioned below, um, the the soft skill is more important than hard than than hard skill. Mm -hmm. uh, as my um, my reason, three reason, like a, a hard skill are more uh, useless without a soft skill, and the soft skill are harder to learn, and the um, the, uh, the 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 work the workplace in uh, the modern workplace in nowadays is interpersonal. Mm -hmm. That's so that the soft skill are very important than the than the than the soft, than the hard skills. And um, I want to add some. Uh, <clears throat> While hard skills are necessary to successful perform technical tasks in a job, soft skills are necessary to create a, a positive and functional work environment. And to be successful in their life, truly you must have hard skills as a, a specific career yeah. and soft skills as a good employee as possible you can. And it all starts from uh, from it all start with getting to know uh, yourself how uh, like how you do it how you tend to do the thing and what drive you and uh, how you respond to feedback and so that the reason so okay thank you for a very nice including uh, our speech today so now it's yeah. your turn okay so in conclusion soft skill and soft skill and hard skill are significantly important in business although i have chosen that soft skill is the most important one mm -hmm. due to reason that it's improved leadership and employee communication improve teamwork and productivity and attract new clients but as an entrepreneur or a business person you must not give up on hard skill as well therefore both of them are needed in you in yourself as an entrepreneur you need it to make sure that you have both of them in order to run a great business company. Therefore, you need it to learn very well. You need it to adapt yourself. You need to have honesty, loyalty, a great attitude. You know how to interact. You know you have social intelligence and emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. Moreover than that, you need to make sure that you are good at something like computer, computering, IT management, by bilingual having a great language and you need to know how to deal with economic system okay so therefore as a human resource of the future development and in the future entrepreneur you need to have soft skill and hard skill yeah. 
Okay, thank you. So it means that soft skill and hard skill is still be important, important in our business. Yeah. But both of you had mentioned that the soft, soft skill is more, more important, important in business. Yeah. So thank you both of you for joining our Net Metabolism program for today. Yeah, and now our competition for today reached to the end, and I would like to thank uh, to CEO Master Club and CEO Institute for strongly supporting the Net Metabolism program. And another one, uh, thanks to the Left Online Cambodia. It's the newest easiest learning online platform in Cambodia. It helps Cambodians achieve their goal success happiness and contribute to uh, Cambodia to become a developed country and I would like to say apologize to our audience if we have made some mistake during our speech with our speech with our body language or uh, anything with the techniques so please have a nice day to you and we will be back for the next week thank you goodbye thank you ការទីបីឆ្នាំពីព័ន្ធមភ័យទំនឹងជើញអូនប្អូនយុបជនសិស្សនៈទីដែលមានផ្សាយផ្ទាល់ពីខេត្តចិនដល់ខេត្តប្រហោះចាប់ពីម៉ង់ដល់ពីសាមសិបនាទីរសៀលក្នុងហ្វេសប៊ុកភេក
sap job kini ai hai dan bayar pon-pon ban skuol pi wiji stan CEO ko do chi ban skuol pi sthan aphiep nang pariyakah thurakit pro ka long mao pon-pon ai mien tu sana bisai mien ko dai trum tae tha rien hai nang thue ka bai muoi dan bai ban prak chom nol chang ai ta ban tuk ban rien hai ban thue ka ngi bai muoi thue prak chom nol ko chom ពីច្រើនជាធម្មតាគឺយើងឃើញចឹងក៏ប៉ុន្តែវិជាសាន់ Bangkat pelat pelat siapa kamu cemai cemai, tam raya ka bangkat kangi api cipu rot tuwe dan bangkat bantoi jam nak serong, hai tam raya ka fly tu cie ti kian lain dan bendoh menuh ay bangkat dan cerana kalai kangi neng curu um jam naik dan dekrong ka bangkat jam nun jam nut curu curu rot tam raya ka bangkun neng cie macah serok dan cie cak rik cak kul dekrong sedikit dorong mom dapat peti kampi cie dapat cie. Ini sapa merah ke doya bang bitu tu ke pencet menten. คือการก่อสร้างทนเทียนมนุษย์ทนเทียนมนุษย์กรรมวิจัยโดยที่ให้ได้โดนตาปูปุ้งเอ่อเซนนั่นน่ะเอ่อเจเนติกยิงคลั